Hey folks, this is Rod from Burn to Learn, and today we're going to show you how to use the very cool, easy to learn date diff function in Excel 2016. Here's your situation. In just two months, your company will have its annual service award party to recognize employees who have hit 10, 15, and 25 years of continuous service. As a member of the Human Resources Department, it's your responsibility to identify the service award recipients and to give their names to the general manager this afternoon. Using this employee information report and the date dip function in Excel 2016 will help you to easily organize your report. As you can see, the information report gives us the employee's full name in column A and their hire dates in column B. The first thing you must do is to use the today function to complete column C with today's dates. To do this, write an equal sign in cell C6, then type the word today, followed by an open and close parentheses. Here's the formula for this. Now press enter and the today function fills in the current date automatically. Now drag the formula and fill in all of column C. Then you need to determine each employee's years of service in column D. Don't worry, the date diff function will perform the complicated math for you. All you have to do is write an equal sign in cell D6, then type the word date diff followed by an open parentheses. Now select the higher date in cell B6, followed by a comma. Then write the word today, with an open and closed parentheses, followed by a comma. Now type an open quotation mark, then type the letter Y for years, and a closed quotation mark. Now type a closed parentheses and press enter. Here's the formula. Then drag the formula and see the years of service for every employee has been calculated by the date diff function. You can now use this formula to obtain the months and days remaining in each employee's length of service. First, let's do the months. Write an equal sign in cell E6. Then write the word date diff followed by an open parentheses. Now select the higher date in cell B6 followed by a comma. Then write the word today with an open and closed parentheses followed by a comma. Now type an open quotation mark and then type the letters YM for year, month, and a closed quotation mark. You typed the letters YM rather than just M for the months because you want to know how many months are left to count after you've taken out all the full years. Now type a close parentheses and press enter. Here's the formula. Now drag the formula and you see the months left after you take off the full years. Now let's do the days. Write an equal sign in cell F6. Then write the word date diff with an open parentheses. Now select the higher date in cell B6 followed by a comma. Then write the word today with an open and close parentheses followed by a comma. Now type an open quotation mark and then type the letters YD for year day with a closed quotation mark. You type the letters YD instead of just D for the days because you want to know how many days are left to count after you've taken out all the full months. Now type a closed parentheses and press enter. Here's the formula. Drag the formula and you see the days left after you take off the full months. Now you can, you can give your general manager the names of this year's recipients of service awards. Robert Palmer is first with five years, one month, and 47 days. Luke Miller then follows with exactly 10 years, 11 months, and 359 days. And Demi Allen has 25 years, 9 months, and 279 days. And you were able to do this quickly and easily without performing time-consuming math calculations. Okay, now you've added another practical and easy-to-use multi-purpose tool to your tool belt called Excel Date Diff. If you liked this video, 
then don't forget to leave a comment, share it, and hit the like button. And do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Till then, goodbye and have a great day.